Polish to Shari are still located inside Old Lady Sport Bar and Lounge. <laughs> the interview with the Swag and Freestyle. Today I have one guest with me. Uh, me and Enyom, uh, and Ope, uh, asked him to send me uh, some of uh, his records. And me show the name of I said, I'm being in my name. Say, wow, talent you know, Kumasi. How you doing, big boss? I'm doing great, Kobe. I'm Kobe, and you're also Kobe? Yes. So you're also, I'm Kobe, and you are? Kobe Neil. N E I L. Kobe Mo. Kobe Neil. No. Yeah. No, I seen the E. Dadwa. Yeah, Dadwa. N E I L. Kobe No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, tell me, I mean, for those of uh, my people watching you for the first time, how will you describe yourself with your music? Um, I'll, I'll describe myself with the music as an artist who, you know, combines multiple genres of music, mm. making the Afro sound core. Mm. You understand? So let's pick a sound like. Uh, I've got a song of my EP called Abna. It's got a feel of R&B, like you said, and Afro music. Mm -hmm. So personally, most of the time I get asked, what kind of song do you do? What general song do you do? I prefer saying Afro life. Mm -hmm. You see, life is everything with a touch of Afro music. Amazing. Now, let's talk about, I mean, the fact that you are located or you are uh, reside, uh, you, you reside in Kumasi. Um, What's the challenge for you? Because, I mean, listening to your record, amazing, but it looks as if it is not really getting the hype that it deserves. How or what measures are you putting in place to making sure that this music that you got gets out there? Um, we, we're putting in our best, and it's a bit difficult as an independent artist. Um, first of all, we are working on social platforms to push the music as well, and shouts to a couple of Ghanaian DJs and, you know, um, bloggers helping out, uh, Kumasi to be precise, helping out with the music and all that. That's how far we are moving now, but it's not easy. First of all, I feel it took me self-realization and finding myself attractive. Because I, I, I started music, I felt, okay, I was just doing the music. Before I realized there was a whole huge business of the music that one has to learn if you are an independent artist. So that is why we are geared towards getting much insight about the music business to make a great impact to the world. Amazing. I mean, like I said, I love when I'm interviewing um, <laughs> talent with some intellect right here. Now, uh, let me ask you, um, are you signed on any record label? Yeah. Independent yeah. artist? Yeah. And how is your family supporting your craft? Okay, my family, psychologically, emotionally, they are very supportive. But, but financially, no. Financially, you know, you have to make ends meet. Friends are doing their best, possible best, and yeah, so far for. No, them. so uh, your 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 parents have not also come to a sort of realization that what you are doing is massive, and so they need to invest in what you are doing, all your talent. The the problem is not about they not realizing. You see, you invest with something, mm. and this this is a kid who is still in school, and still pursuing this music business. So. It's like, okay, let's handle the school for you, then handle your music business. Mm. So that's how it's like. So, so they are telling you that they are going to handle your school? That's it. So you're in a university? Yeah. Where? Kenya University. Kenya University level? 300. Wow. What program? Computer science. I want you to prove to my uh, viewers after today that you've got talent. Do something for them right now. Okay, okay so. Up and uh, make you know they come and do me yawa. Fri soda me do ya papai. We saw that me do your papa, oh yeah, oh baby, make you know they come and go and play me. God say that in feet to drive me crazy. God say that in feet to drive me crazy, hey. Oh girl, I wanna take you to the aisle. I wanna pour the holy water on you, baby. I go take it easy, no go rush. I go take you to the places that you wanna go. Oh God, I'ma like this lady. Body tie, she they drive me crazy. She's cute and I can't believe it. She's bright like a sun in the morning. Hey, sun in the morning. Hey. Wow. So this song is on the EP? Yeah, it's on the EP. How many songs? Seven songs. So check us through uh, the track list. Okay, so we've got no negative vibe. Mm -hmm. Basically talking about no bad energy like that. I'm very concerned with what I think up here because that's where mm -hmm. I do most of my creative mm -hmm. works at. And we've got second one called MV. Now we've got Abna on the track. We've got Closer. That's a pop song. Uh, I took myself away a bit from the Afro sound. And we've got Man No They Cry, where the Afro and the Hal I feel. 
Yeah, and we've got hold you, a calypso sound. Amazing. Now, do you take inspiration from um, our Ghanaian artists? Yeah, I do. Who? I'm mean, looking like this, like I'm mean, looking at the sound that you produce. Uh, the, the, the funny thing is, I listen to every single music I, I lay my hands on. Come to talk of people, even don't understand why I listen to someone like Viala. Mm. I don't understand her music though, but. I feel the connection with the sound, and I don't know what she's trying. She's really trying to say about the connection from Afia, mm. from Sakodia, Stone Boys, Energy, and all that. Like from everybody. Who produced for me the songs? Uh, his name is Quapsi. All the songs. All the songs. And the funny thing is, uh, one day I'm like, okay, I need to get these songs off my chest. Walk around. I'm an Atunzu, so in my hood, I saw the studio. I'm like, okay. Let me just push to him. Mm. I go there, I give him my vibe, and he's like, okay, I'm giving you this package to record these number of songs. Mm. And if, if when, I, when I heard the package, I was like, it's like I'm, I'm just giving him money for water or something. From there, we made all these songs. Can't get mm. to see Quap C. Amazing. Now, I mean, do you perform on campus? I mean, if, I mean, I know there are a lot of uh, instances where you guys organize events and all that. I mean, have you had a chance to bless the mic on stage? Um, on campus, I've not yet had the chance, but we can't get to, to high school XTV. I've been in a couple of SHS, mm -hmm. that's KNUSD SHS, and uh, high school, and uh, yeah, a couple of one or two pops and all. I know you are still in school, but I want you to look inside the camera once again and tell Ghanaians after school, what should they expect from you? It's not even after school. <laughs> they, they should expect great works, you know. The thing is, it's all about priorities. It, it's all about channeling your schedules. So great stuffs are coming. Great, great stuffs are coming. Visuals of the EP are on load. A lot, a lot of stuffs that I can... At times, I just think of these things and I'm like, yo, it gets better and better. But do you have any official music video out there on YouTube? Not yet. But uh, the EP is doing well on the regular platforms. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you catching us from Dallas? Um, I think yesterday I saw a couple of cents in my account. And mm. I'm like, yo, at least, you know, with, with the effort I'm putting in, I feel there's a lot that I have to do. Mm. So I appreciate what I've gotten so far. Even for my songs to be on the platforms that everyone, anywhere is to look for it, they can have access to it. It's, it's okay with the effort I've put in now. So we, we're doing our best. Amazing. Now, can you share with us your social media handle? Okay, so the social media handle is K-O-B-B-Y-N-E-I-L underscore H. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Are you active? Very active. Very active. And we are also very active when it comes to Kobiche News uh, broadcasting. Yes, entertainment news. We are blogging and we are impacting society. I want to say a big thank you to Kobe Neil for coming on my platform. Let's also use this opportunity to say that you guys who really support our artists in Kumase. They are doing amazingly. You guys should go and stream their songs on all the platforms. Let me say a big thank you to my production team led by Joseph Amino and Christina Bella and camera photography by Nana Kwame. Let me say it. Big thank you to Old Lady Sport Bar and Lounge here located in Kumase, Denyame. God bless you guys. Polish to you shine.